Hello, Gamer Nome is back. In this video, we're going to help this noob become the Flame Hashira in Demon Slayer and defeat Takaza. But before we start, you can show your support by using Star Code Gamer Nome when purchasing your Robux. 5% of the earnings will go to this channel and this will really help us make better videos. With the Ector Slam! Oh, there it is! Forward. There's your slam! There's the dump! Okay, so guys, before we become a Flame Hashira, First, we need someone. We need a master. So luckily, I was able to find the master just near me where I spawned. And check it out. He is fighting a mob. So let's see if we can ask him for help. There we go. Whoa, nice skills. Hmm. What can that be? Okay, so after this, let's approach him and ask him. Master, please teach me how to become stronger. Sure. In order to become strong, you need to finish three tracks. First, get the Rengoku Sword. Okay, got it. Nice voice, by the way. <laughs> Anyways, in order to get the Rengoku Sword, let's head to the Ice Castle and first get the Hidden Key. So there are two ways to get the Hidden Key. Beat Awakened Ice Admiral or defeat any mob in this island. So for the chances, Awakened Ice Admiral, 1 to 15%. Arctic Warriors or other mobs, 0.5 to 1%. So I decided to defeat the Awakened Ice Admiral. Don't worry, even though we're level 700, we have a way to defeat him. Wall strat. Guys, you will get damaged if you stay near him, okay? So technique is your left clicks and create distance after attacking him. Wait for him to attack and then go back. Okay, just keep on repeating it. There you go, left clicks. After six to seven punches, go back and repeat, okay? Okay, so that's it. It took me 14 awakened dice admirals to get the key. By the way, you can also get the library key here. There you go. Can open a door here to get the death step. There you go in this room. Anyways, this is the fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. Guys, it's kind of hard to be honest to get the hidden key compared to the library key, but that is our goal to get stronger. Once you get the hidden key, just head to this part of the ice castle. Guys, there is a hidden room here on the right side if you're facing the spawn point of the ice admiral. There you go. Now that we got the sword, let's go back to our master. Reach level 750 and unlock at least one skill. After that, I will give you the second trial. Okay, so time to head to the Founded City and defeat Gallip Pirates. Why? Because you can do wall strat here even though you don't have a fruit. So as you can see, I'm going to show it to you. There you go, guys. There's a wall, left clicks, and that's it. So guys, I suggest again, defeat Gallip Pirates to level up both your base level and your mastery in Rengoku. Okay? So there you go, Demon Slayer. First skill, Z skill, level 750. Now let's go back to our master. For the second trial, beat the five upper moon bosses to summon their master. Okay, so upper five is diamond located near the cafe. So here it is. So guys, let's use our Z skill. Oh, he looks scary, guys. <laughs> so Z skill. This boss is kind of tanky, to be honest. It has two skills, but we are strong enough to defeat him. So again, technique here, use your skills, dodge, wait for it to cool down, and that's it, okay? Okay, so we're gonna defeat this one really fast. Also, this boss drops, I think, the long sword. Okay, there you go. So next stop is the upper moon 4, and that is Jeremy, located just on the other side of this island. Looks bald. And sadly, I think, guys, we are weak, not strong enough to defeat this boss. Check the damage. Check that out, <laughs> we're almost dead. And in times of danger, just like this one, we need to ask again our master. So master, what should we do? Reach level 850 and the top X skill. Okay, so back to Swan Pirates, or we have another choice, the Swan Pirates. So guys, it depends to you, as long as you unlock the X skill, the Burning Slash, and reach 850. Okay, so now we are back, and it's payback time. We're going to defeat Jeremy. Guys, our new uh, unlock skill, the X skill, has a DPS, the Burning Slash. I'm gonna show it to you. X skill, there you go, guys. As you can see, it's burning. That is continuous damage. Okay, so let's defeat this one. Moving on. Upper Moon 3 is Fajita, located at the green zone. So are we strong enough? Guys, this boss has two skills. One is this one, the Almighty Push, just joking. And this one, the Meteors. So guys, I think he's strong, too strong for us. 
So again, how many times do we need to ask help from our master? So oh, master, what should we do? You need flame fruit to become stronger. Flame fruit, okay. So luckily we were able to get one from Ziles. There you go. See that guys, we got the flame fruit now. Let's eat it. Okay. There you go. So after eating the fruit, guys, I feel a lot stronger now. No more damage from weak mobs, as you can see. Plus, we got new powers. Check it out. And with this newfound strength, I think we are now strong enough to defeat all upper moons. So guys, are you ready? There you go. Let's go back to Fajita or Fujitora and let's beat him. Check that out. We have now lots of uh, ammunition. <laughs> that. My favorite new skill is the V skill, Flame Destroyer. We are slowly becoming the Flame Hashira of Demon Slayer. So guys, let's end this. One more V skill. And to finish it up, we're gonna use the X skill, the Burning Slash. There you go, boom. Okay, moving on. Upper Moon 2, Smoker. That boss is located in this island. The hot and cold, guys. This is the weakest boss. Why you can use wall strat here? But again, he's too weak. His skills easy to dodge. I'm gonna show it to you. There you go. Let's use our skills first. So, guys, every time you use your skills, you just need to dodge to the side. You see that? He wasn't able to hit us again one more time. Dodge to the side. There you go. Okay. So, guys, let's defeat this one. Check this out. This will be cool. Here it is. Boom. There you go, guys. <laughs> and now, finally, our target. Upper Moon 1. Swan located at the mansion. So first, let's talk to Trevor. His underling gave me yummy fruit. Okay, I'm gonna give you a fruit. The Quake fruit. I hope that's enough. Check it out. Give it to him. Okay, we may now speak to Swan. He has no idea we're gonna off his boss. There you go, Swan. So guys, technique here, use your skills. Dodge to the side. I mean dodge, dodge, dodge to dodge his skills. Also, avoid staying in front of him for a long time. Did you see what just happened to me? There you go. One more thing. This boss has two lives. There you go. Did you see that? Okay. His HP regenerated. His skills stronger, has longer range. Did you see that? I almost died. But again, we are strong. We are now the Flame Hashira, so we're gonna defeat this one, okay? One more skill, go! And last one, after this, I want to finish this enemy with the Rengoku. We're gonna do it, Demon Slayer. After this, we are going to head to our Master, right? So for our final trial, Master, please tell me what to do. Wait, what? My master! He wants me to fight him! So it's night time, let's head to the Coliseum! Wait, what? Akaza? You know of subhumans? Never! I'm gonna burn you alive! I am Rengoku the Flame Hashira! What? Cheater! Now taste my true power! Donut! Yep, so in the end guys, Akaza is too strong for us. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. Guys, if this one gets lots of views, I will make more videos just like this one. And again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I really appreciate you all. This is GamerNom. GamerNom out!